Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this video is on the error uh, access denied when calling get object. So here you can see I have a lambda function. Uh, with this function, actually I'm trying to uh, fetch the data from S3. So I have a file in S3. I'm going to fetch it uh, calling lambda function. So I have a test also. Yeah, so here's the test and I specified the bucket in which my file is so this is the file uh, which is in this bucket s3 bucket code AI so I have the file here so this is my file so using lambda function uh, I'm going to access this file so here's the test case and uh, when I uh, act, try to access it, I get an error like uh, access denied uh, when calling it object. So uh, this is actually related to uh, the permissions for the Lambda function. So to fix this issue, uh, actually we need to change the permissions and add access to Lambda function to access the S3 bucket. So here I in this policy actually uh, in uh, the role which is assigned to the lambda function you can see there's one policy uh, okay so this is actually for the logs and we don't have a policy to access uh, s3 bucket so we just need to create a policy and attach it uh, to the role so here I'm going to choose a service. Uh, this should be S3. And action is like whatever the error you get. So get object. So this is the action. Select get object and the resource. Yeah, and you can specify the bucket name here. And the bucket name should be here. And object name should be any. Okay, give it some name. So now, as you can see, I've added a policy uh, to the role to fetch uh, data from S3 bucket. Uh, it's a specific bucket, so I have added it. So now let's look at the code here. So this is an event-driven uh, function. So whenever we, uh, there is a, a data or any object added to S3 bucket, this function will get triggered. So for now, we can test it directly using the event. So as you can see, we are not getting the error now. So hope this helps. Uh, that's all for this, this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.